many of you guys are probably wondering right now to yourself why king why'd you ever leave wizard okay with all its might and power why'd you ever do it because it's too easy for king you understand guys it's just too easy all right now i'm just waiting for a class like sir Meliodas from the seven deadly sins to be a thing for me to really play you know what i mean the demon king you know the closest thing to that right now is the striker and that's why i left guys that's not why i left i don't know why i left to be honest with you guys this class guys play this class at your own risk look i'm trying to tell you right now guys if you ever want to have a stable life in this game ever don't roll this class or his or his sister counterpart the witch let's just say they're overpowered they got heals guys they got pills guys they got deeps guys they got meteors they got fire explosions electricity i don't know how that didn't one shot that guy i feel like wizards have been nerfing it so this is my little chill spot on my wizard and look at it look at him look at him he just looks so weird some poor emo wrestling fan out there created this preset and I just chose it. I chose it, you know? So I'm guilty as well. But this is how you do. You see some weird monster like that, and you run up on them, and you like, you got my money, B? Ah, I told you. I told him to have my money. Get out of here for the coppers come. But, you guys, Wizard is probably... I'm when, when I talk about Wizard, guys, we're going to talk about Witch and Wizard at the same time. Because I don't own a witch, and I'm not leveling up the same class twice. That's just retarded. This ain't Diablo. Don't get it twisted. All right? So, look at this. Just look at the pure chaos this class just caused. You see this skill right here? When you get Awakening, this is your going to be your number one go-to skill. And then, when you hit 57, this is going to be your one-two your one combo. You just press that and you press eight and it's like double explosions and it knocks people on their butt. And then once they get knocked on their butt, guys, you go choo choo <laughs> and you just blow them up. And it's that simple. When you get about 170 AP on wizard, they just completely don't give a damn about any DP that anyone has. They just start wrecking face. And a lot of people lately or new players have been getting on wizard and being like i don't remember oh my god you guys we're in that camp okay guys we're just not gonna be able to become neutral with these npcs on any character i am so sorry i don't even know what to tell you guys right now i'm just so sorry i was gonna try it out for you guys it just takes three hours of sitting in you know an npc camp to be able to be able to just you know be neutral with them and i'm just not willing to just, just take that time but you guys should especially if you want unlimited cooking at that pot that i showed you guys the other day where's the pot where's the pot i don't know where the pot is but let's get back on the wit the wizard a lot of new players are like oh man i don't feel the power i don't understand how this class is so strong and to be honest with you guys if you started off playing classes like i would say I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna say Striker or Ninja and stuff like that. It's kind of hard to see the power. Although Ninja is not the best grinder, the skills, the Ninja skills are kind of like dumpy. What I mean like that is they dump a shitload of damage with a press of a button. Um, it's just not a really nice radius, and that's what stops the ninja from being like a really good grinder. But as far as damage, the ninja doesn't really lack in damage. Um, especially in PvE, um, the Ninja 100 percent or whatever has probably killed me more than just about any other 100 percent in the game. It's mostly because it just they just dump it on you. You know what I mean? They just dump it all over you, and it's it's just it's just so nasty. It's nasty, guys. It's nasty. But oh yeah, did I even show you guys the pets? So you get two pets, right? Both of these pets are both better than the Tamer pets. I'm joking. I'm joking. Kind of. They, yes, they are. And they get two of them. So the Ice Chick shoots at people. 
And later on, I think at 58, I get a skill that allows her to do stuff while I do stuff. So kind of like how the tamer pet attacks along. Look, this dude, look, he tried to shoot me. She wasn't having none of that, bruh. She wasn't having none of that. Let me get my boy. Let me get my boy out. Look at him. Just look at him flex on people, guys. This is literally some type of Asian demon, you know, from the Asian culture of, um, Demoness, you know, you know what I'm talking about. You guys, don't listen to that. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Look at this. This is your best pre-awakening skill right here. This skill is so good. I still use this skill today. I still use this skill today. So I would do something like this. Run up on a fool. You hit him with the. You hit him with the spin. The spin twist. Then you hit him with the electricity. Then you go right into awakening and choo choo. Just charge at him. And then you use this skill. And then when they try to run away, guys, look. When they try to run away, you go whoop, boop. So it's pretty much this skill right here, dude. Water spear. You pretty much spear them, and then you press the right button. And then it shoots another thing that knocks them down from hella long range, right? Then, not to think of this skill that allows you to cast like you're on crack. Look. Hold on. Let me, let me see if I can shuffle. Yeah, so as you can see, I went through a bunch of skills already. It's just a really nice combo or whatever that you can just like keep doing. Then you can just go right back into the choo-choo and then it's super armor too. And you just like, boom, I'm gonna knock you down. And then you can go right back into another super armor, right? Right back into a choo-choo. And that's what people mean when ninjas super armor spam and they, they just get all up in your cheeks and there's really nothing you can do about it. I remember being at Salsa and it was this group of people. There was probably like five of them. And I hit one of them and I hid behind this little gate. All right, we're gonna use the rock for instance. And they they came around and I just popped that and I'm just like, choo choo, ran into them. Big explosion, half health them right into this skill. And all of them died and I was like minus karma and I was sad because I didn't think they were gonna die that fast. But then your boy didn't realize that he was so strong at the time and I was just flexing on people but it's just you know when you another thing when you play this class guys you're gonna flex on people there's no there's no it's what's buts about it no one there's it takes an army to out farm you so when you're at Salsons and this class runs Salsons bro you cannot take Salsons from a witch or a wizard bro but I'm well the witch might be able to take take farm from the wizard maybe maybe Cause she can kind of throw her shit a little bit range or whatever. It really depends. I think she had to be a little bit more geared than him. But guys, don't worry, man. This skill right here, so low cooldown, and it completely 100% wrecks the hell out of packs at Salsons. Like, it's just there's really nothing anyone can do. If someone comes and they try to flag up on you, just karma bomb them. Don't even don't even flag up on them. Just run to group to group and do that. And I'm telling you. There's nothing anyone can really do about it. I'm trying to figure out how to freaking how to freaking teleport again. Oh, there we go. So boom, you use your teleport just like that. You blow up a group. Before you're done blowing up a group or whatever, you go right back into another teleport, right? Then you blow up this group, and he, that group is just like, what the hell's going on? Why is this wizard so fucking fast? And you just teleport from group to group, and the groups that you're, when you're not teleporting, guys, you just pretty much run. Actually, let me show you something. I took it off of the bars. I took it off the bar a while ago, whatever, but I'm gonna put it back just to show you guys. See this skill right here? Increase your movement speed by 10%. It used to be a lot more, but trust me, it's still pretty good. It allows you to to do some really nice speed. Oh, that's the hundred percenter. Hey, let me tell you guys, if you use this skill, I use it, I have this skill in my bar cause I used it as a stun back in the day. It's a ridiculous stun. Like, you know, you just go boom and that stuns. And then this or whatever kind of like wrecks them and then you can go right into um, one of your awakening skills, this one right here. So it's the water spear. So your eight that transfers you right back into your awakening with no problem. So you go something like this, and then boom, right? And then while they're, what you call it, you hit your water spear really fast, it knocks them down. Then you go choo choo, and that's when you get up in their face, guys. And if you want, you walk up on somebody again, 
like I showed you guys before. Yeah, you know I mean, you walk up on this arch and be like, you you shooting arrows at me, bro? He's like, no, sir, I didn't mean to. Ah, just, you know what I mean? Just shank him. Because that's what, look, look. Look at the force in the wizard shank. This is probably the best melee in the game. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Watch this. <laughs> oh, uh, why he in the way, though? Look, dude, you're going to, I'm going to have to switch to you to her because you you're tripping bro you're ruining my shot oh oh he just shot me with an arrow you gonna let him shoot me oh she gonna let him shoot me though oh he's shooting me again oh my god you let him shoot me uh, ah! can you imagine being up there and somebody knocking this bs down dude that's a nightmare waiting to happen walk up on him again look at this guy yes just look at this shankage. Like, I used to walk. I, dude, you, I'm not gonna even lie. I'm about to do a wizard shank compilation of just walking around doing this because this is the best. It's, ah, look at him. I got two for one that time. Look, this guy getting all uppity, boy. Ooh, new dagger stab simulator. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Look at this guy. Look, he doesn't even know it's coming. <laughs> I didn't want you done sacrificing souls like that, you know. You go across the street and you start sacrificing more. This has been King Fox, and I'm out, guys.